What's going on everybody? It's always a great day to play a roguelike game. So today we're playing a new one. This one is the demo version of Isle of Swaps. Now I'll leave a Steam link for you down below in the description, but essentially this is a deck builder roguelike where swapping cards is going to be a main mechanic that we'll be using to gather new cards or get new creatures. And if it sounds like Pokemon TCG to you so far, guess what? It's supposed to sound like Pokemon TCG because from what I've seen online about this game, the developers have taken a lot of inspiration from Pokemon um, without running into legal issues, I guess, unlike other games. Uh, but anyways, if you're like me and you're waiting for the Pokemon TCG mobile game, maybe this is a game that you can play in between while we're waiting to scratch that itch because that's definitely what we're doing here today. Let's try it out. All right, Isle of Swaps. Let's start off with the tutorial then. Okay, want to learn the basics of critter challenges and battles from Dottie? Let's learn. All right. Hey ya, glad to see you finally came to finally got some critter cards. Let me teach you the basics of how to play. Sure. Thanks, Dottie. Basically, you'll take on a challenge, which is a deck of cards full of battles and shops with a boss at the end. So a challenge has a map of all those things together, probably. Along the way, you'll customize and strengthen your battle deck with critter, skill, and sticker cards. If you manage to best the boss at the end of the challenge, you'll move on to a tougher challenge. If you can claim a victory in three challenges, you'll beat the challenge winner. Okay, sure. Let's begin a trial challenge. I'll show you three cards and you choose one of them to progress. Give it a try. Okay, thanks Professor Oak. Let's see what we got so far. So we have, whoa. Wild battle, gain a critter and skill card when you win. All of them say that. Can I turn it down just a touch? Maybe a little bit more? Okay, before we jump in, I just wanted to do that. Uh, okay, so let's look at the cards that we have offered to us. We have Hand Golan. Oh yeah, these look like Pokemon cards for real, for real. I wonder if this will run into some issues like Pal World, World did. That's the reference that I made at the beginning of the video. Uh, as a lot of us know, Pal World is running into some legal issues, but like... I don't, I don't know what's going on with the legal issues. This looks exactly like a Pokemon card though. Maybe there's less restrictions or less copyright um, on, on the design. Anyways, let's move on. Hangolin, attacking this critter inflicts damage to the attacker, reduces by half, then reduces by half. That's what Thorns does. Using energy card, gain one Thorns. Attack opposite critter for Thorns plus two damage, have your Thorns. Okay, cool. Cure status effect removes a buff. Where do we see Cure? I don't know where we see that, but anyways, here is a Psychic type Pokemon. Poison. Critter takes damage every half turn, then reduces by half. And this guy is going to do three poison if it doesn't have any. Opposite Critter loses one buff with a reset. Okay, so I guess with these cards, every turn it is doing something or during your attack turn it's doing something you can use energy cards from the looks of it to do its additional attack that's what i'm reading this as um or it's maybe two different cards i'm not sure avoid an attack and then it's removed max is one every three turns you gain one dodge attack all enemy critters for power plus four damage gain one dodge attack all enemy critters for power plus four okay i'm liking the sound of maybe the thorns so let's take the grass type it's weak against fire hangolin battle dina hangolin oh i'm fighting hangolin that's my bad i don't know what my deck looks like but thank god i chose this because i started with a fire deck that's just our luck turn one every turn abilities basically you want to play skill cards from your hand onto a critter of the same element shown by the icon in the top left. Got it. So instead of having their own skills that, that they can only use, you have a deck of cards where any critter of that element can actually use that card. Makes a lot of sense. 
Um, rainbow icon cards can be used by any critter. Gotcha. Okay, so do I know what he's doing next? Is this what he's doing? Attack opposite critter for three. Opposite Attack opposite critter for not power plus nine. What's my power? That's six. Power plus nine damage. User loses power HP. So I'm really just doing plus nine damage. I could almost kill him with that. Weak plus five. So that means attacking the critter inflicts damage to the attacker, then reduces it by half. Oh, sorry, that's thorns. Weak plus five makes me think that it just does the damage plus five. So even if we do one damage, does it do six damage? Um, I like a multiplier on weaknesses more than a static effects, but maybe that's just part of the strategy that's in the game. Gain two blaze energy, opposite critter gains two burn, which explodes at five burn, dealing five HP damage. So we have to build up burn so that it actually explodes. Attack the opposite critter for power plus two damage. That's a safer attack. So I don't have any energy, right? I need energy to play this, I believe. Right? So it, it requires two energy to play this from what I understand. You need an energy plus another colorless energy. Blaze energy plus another um, colorless energy, I meant. Don't use a card play. Gain one blaze energy. Stronger cards will use energy generated by weaker skill cards. These cards show how much energy they need below the illustration. Gain energy for a flame tackle. I'm gonna try. So how many can I use? I have three out of three card plays over here. So we're going to gain some energy. Critters have power, which is added to a skill's card's damage when they attack. Their defense reduces damage taken and adds to skill cards when they do a status effect. They add to skill cards when they do status effects. Interesting. So defense is both like defense against damage, but it also boosts status cards. That That is an interesting mechanic. So I have four energy from, or three energy from the looks of it, right? So let's do a flame tackle. You can play up to three cards each turn, and when you're done, click the end button in the bottom right. You can end your turn any at any time that you'd like to. Well, I'm definitely gonna use a Blaze Terra attack yet again. And he sh is almost dead. Let's end the turn. So he did a little bit of an attack to me. He also did Thorny Vine. Yeah, so this is telling us what he's about to do. Um, right, I can just do a nice little Terra attack and just kill him. Critter captured! Ho 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 ho, our first battle is done. I did it like a pro. Hangolin and its signature skill, Thorny Vine, have been added to my binder. That's the way it goes. Sorry, bro. We're done on nabbing a... Well done on nabbing a new critter. Open up your battle deck to put it in your active team. The icon bar is at the bottom of the bar. So here's our battle deck. It's underneath my head here. You just have to trust me. Here's our binder. Click cards in the binder to add them to your deck. Click the ones in the deck to remove them again. Using more critters requires more skill cards in the deck. Yes, it does. Add both attack and energy skill cards. Okay. So we need Hangolin. Where's all my skill stuff? Do I have any cards that let me use nature stuff? Attack up. Oh, look at this. This is a hybrid card. That's cool. Attack opposite critter for power damage. We could use that with him. Now, where are my skill cards? Oh, they're over here. Skill required, skill required, skill card optional. I see. So we have, maybe we do half and half fire versus earth or grass, whatever we want to call it. We don't have any more of those. I do like actually um, turning the, the, the pages. I don't have enough skill cards for how many critters I have. I understand, chill. Gain two energy of the user's primary type. My primary is going to be, what is my primary dictated by? Is it by the critters I have on the field or is it just my character? Like we only had fire before, but maybe we can have um, earth or, <laughs> grass now. Gain two energy of the user's primary type and also heal three HP. That sounds really good. Let's put a couple of bloom heals in here. Thorny vine attack opposite critter for thorns plus two damage. 
and we have our thorns. Um, we're not building that many thorns yet. We don't have any too many drivers that that give us that. Attack opposite critter. Attack opposite critter. Right. What else do we have? Good vibes. Gain two aqua energy. Cure one debuff. Oh, we can't use any of these thick skin. Let me see some grass stuff. Or actually, no, we want activated skills with grass. Is that all we have with grass? Get real. Can I just filter grass? Okay, here's all of them with grass. And we don't have too many. Attack opposite career for power. He only has three. Could we possibly build more thorns than his power? Because then we can use thorny fine instead. I don't think we will. So we're just going to use nature aqua attack. Maybe another bloom heal. We have more of these than our fire thing. I think I want to focus on fire. So let's focus on a fire filter. Wait, filter fire. We just had to click the filter multiple times. Oh, this is the only energy card we have. Blaze energy. I guess it is equal if blaze energy is all the way up here. Okay, never mind. Go back to. It'd be nice if I could right click to go backwards in the filter. You can only go one way in, through the filter. Um, but yeah, take another bloom hill then, and then we're gonna save and quit. Yeah, sure. So what do we got here? Battle then swap when you win. That's all of it. They're all water, it seems like. So it's good that we're, it's not good that we have any fire at all. Why are there two dogs over here? Sure, I'll take the double dog. The double dog dare. Oh, one is the tutorial guy, isn't it? He's the sailor. Let's fight, sailor. Kind of Pokemon-like uh, intro to the battle. So I definitely don't want to fight this guy. Critters, critters usually attack the critter opposite, so drag your critters to different spots to change who they're opposing. Attacking a critter with a type it's weak to increases damage taken. That goes for you and your opponent. So what do I do? I go bam bam. Does that take a turn or anything? Discard and draw. Hold M2 to replace hand card with one from your deck. Interesting. And then critter move is going to have a number of uses as well. So you can't just endlessly swap them. You do have a limit. Um, we'll see when that comes into play. It seems like with only three critters, it's not that hard to think of what we should do. So let's do a bloom heal. Gain two energy. Not that I need it. I didn't need the heal either. That was stupid. <laughs> Let me just attack you. Negative eight per attack. Very good. So we're going to end the turn. He's most likely going to move his critter, right? So that he can attack my other one. Or not. Oh, he did. Got it. So I see when it comes into play now. The critter swap. So we're going to swap so that you cannot hit my wall blaze. And we're going to just do... Crap, we really don't need those bloom heals here. I, I just realized that we don't have any cards that require energy. <laughs> Might as well use it though, right? Yeah, yeah. Boost up with those energies. Oh, thanks for hitting me. Now I can actually use my bloom heal for a good purpose. We have so much energy here. Take a bloom heal. We're full on energy. What happens if I take another energy? It kicks one out. It replaces the last one only. Interesting. I thought it would replace from the beginning so that we could keep the fire still there. But uh, it's, it seems like it always replaces just the last, which is interesting to me. You won. Now you can swap cards. Even though you can only swap five cards at a time, you can swap with someone as many times as you want. Five cards at a time, but you can swap as many times as you want. Okay, so let's swap cards. Oh my god. Swap value. There's a swap value here. Okay, no, I, I was kidding. So let's see what we got. We got a candle. Sticker 1 SP. Battle start every five turns. Battle start in every five turns. All enemy critters gain three burn. That's a long game type of thing. Sticker, one SP. I don't understand what that is. Are stickers like, um, are these like almost like artifacts 
in other deck builders, you know, they're like persistent effects, but you can only have a few of them. That's what I'm thinking they are. Every three turns, your critters gain one power for three turns. So basically, at turn three, you get one power and you consistently have one more power throughout the whole thing. I'm gonna take the candle just in case we have a long battle that we need that burning to happen. Every turn, opposite spot gains one random debuff. It is stackable. We don't have any psychic type. Gain two spectral, gain one random buff. Prickle Urge. Maybe I will pick up Prickle Urge so that we can have another card here. Is he the only guy? No, there's a Kiniku as well. Prickle Purge is going to poison the enemy whenever they are hit. That's pretty cool. So we can put him in a more defensive position. So it's just like, if you're gonna attack with that with that critter and keep him there, you're gonna get Prickle Purge on ya. Let's see what else we got here. We got Shock Spot every turn, opposite spot, inflicts two shock, lose one HP per two shock using a skill card, then reduces by half. Wait, lose one HP per two shock when using a skill card. So you have to use a skill card to activate the shock. That makes sense. Gain two volt energy, opposite critter gains four shock. Okay. I, I do like that. Poison spot, opposite spot inflicts two poison. Interesting. We could definitely take that too. Bloom heal we have. Para pilon. It is pretty strong, pretty healthy, lots of defense, has no special effect. Kinaku, quick shock, shock spot. We have one more, right? Um, I guess I'll take the poison spot as well. Swap, swap value is eight. Start the swap, let's go. Does he take some of my cards too? Now make your swap value equal or more than theirs. Ah, crap. Okay, so I have to look through my binder and look at things that I don't need. So we're not using anyone from the rock. We don't have any rock stuff. Are these our current cards? Because I don't remember having these. Attack opposite critter. Um, we don't have any psychic people. So that's fine. Let's give them... Let me get back to psychic. Spectral, sorry. One, two, three, one, two, three. You can't offer more than five cards? I see. So how do I filter by, how do I filter by value? That would be nice. So the value is over here, the dots, I assume. Um, I still got three of these. This is worth three right here. I'm not building thorns. It is worth a lot. I'm not using it. <laughs> but since it's such a high value, I don't want to trade it for some reason. Blaze, Terra Attack, we do have a lot of these. I see why they added the maximum amount of cards that you can swap, because otherwise one would just swap all their crappy one star cards or one value cards and just call it a day. You know what I mean? Not swapping any of these. No, um, I guess I'll do an aqua attack. I need, what is it, eight? Common is worth one. Oh, I thought it, it was worth two, this one. Common is worth one. So our swap value is eight right now with five cards. I don't know if I can do that. I'm gonna have to give him that, that rare one, aren't I? I don't have that one. How come it says three though? That's weird. Take it. I need to make up four with the next two cards. Yeah, I don't know why this circle says two. What am I supposed to understand from that? They're both worth one, but they have different values on this circle thing. Weird, weird, weird. I don't think I have enough rare cards to swap this dude. Or uncommon cards, at least. I really want to, but we cannot do it. How sad is that? Just take it, just take it. <laughs> so we're gonna have to exit swap, or what does this say under here? 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to choose different cards, I think. Um, opposite spot inflicts two poison. I think I want that still. So which one is worth the most? That is worth two. Yeah, most of these are pretty good. We're gonna have to give up one of these diamond ones for sure. The shock spot, maybe I'll give up. All right, so let's start the swap. So I just need to give you six now. Easy peasy. I'm gonna give you this thorny vine and then just a bunch of one star. That's what's happening. One, two. One, two. Done. They should fix this tooltip. Actually, I just need to click away from it. Swap for these. Let's go. All right, excellent. You should add these new cards to your battle deck to power it up. Yes, sir. I definitely should. So we're gonna take the lightning critter. Kinaku, and then we're gonna do some lightning cards. Um, gain two volt energy, opposite critter gains four shock. Amazing. It doesn't even cost any energy to use. Attack opposite critter for power plus one damage. This one also doesn't cost any anything to use, any energy. So what does cost energy? None of it. I guess I didn't take the shock thing. We're gonna take the poison spot, which costs a lot of energy. And then we're going to filter again. What else do we want in here? Some more shock stuff. Another quick shock. Actually, I'll take another Volt Spectral attack. Let's go. Oh, I didn't read that. What did it say? If you edit, click edit stickers, you'll notice you have a maximum allowance of sticker points. Based on the quantity and rarity of critters you're using, you won't be able to use as many stickers to compensate for the increased strength they bring. I see. So, sticker points, 14. How many do I have? Two sticker points to use. Sticker cards impart bonuses to your critters during battle. Starting from 15 SP, uncommon and rare critters lower your maximum SP. Got it. So how do I look at stickers? So we have candle. We have so much space for all of these bonuses. Right, so we have teleporter. Every turn use one critter use critter move one more times oh that's why i have more than one move per turn interesting okay save and quit seems like a good battle deck let's uh leave booster machine buy a mystery pack of cards cheapest five coins everything is the same let's go for the left one i feel it's more lucky i don't know why booster packs please i have six coins let's buy a booster pack <laughs> Please give me something good. Here's our first pack, everybody. Are you ready? Hold on. Let's dribble before we do this. This is our first booster pack. We're gonna open it up. Four additional game cards. Rip it open. Give me something good, baby. They actually make you move the mouse to pull everything out. Barrage, attack opposite critter for power plus one damage two times. Oh, cool. If this triggers the weakness multiple times, this is a a far superior card than what we have for fire so far. Scary Mask. It's a sticker every three turns. All enemy critters lose one power for three turns. Interesting. Burn Spot. Every turn, opposite spot inflicts two burn. We've seen those burn spots before, or the spots. And our first shiny. Wow, a shiny rare sticker. You can add stickers to your battle deck like skill cards, but they, they'll, they're they always active and not played from hand. Put it in your battle deck to see what it does in the next battle. This one is three SP every three turns. Your blaze critters gain one critical and one power for three turns. Amazing. Collect those cards, baby. Let's go to our battle deck. So the first thing that we wanna do is 100% use the frying pan if I can. Yeah, it's in there. And then we also want to probably use the burn attack. I'm gonna take away a bloom hill and use a burn spot. And then we're also going to take away something. <laughs> we'll take away one of the flame tackles for the barrage. That's what I wanted to use. Our stickers are over here, very cool. I think I'm gonna save and quit on that. And we're ready to battle again. Leave this card. Boss battle, when to complete the challenge. Let's go, Dottie. You think you're cool, Dottie, huh? 
You're so screwed. Okay, so we have you against you, and then you're weak against lightning. Set me up like that, baby. Okay, chill out for a second, everybody. Let me cook. We need some energy if we're gonna use barrage, but we can't do that yet. Nothing else uses barrage. So, attack opposite critter for damage. You're not doing anything, Wall Blaze. How dare you? Let's just do attack opposite critter here. If you've gotten a hand of cards you don't, you can't use, or just don't, just want to replace one, hold M2 on one to use, discard, and draw. Get rid of one card from your hand from a, for a new one in your deck. Right, we did read that down here. We don't need the Bloom and Heal unless we're trying to collect a bunch of green energy. Um, attack opposite critter for damage. I'm gonna use that. I would like to get in the energy card if possible. Let's swap the Bloom Heal. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Okay, then we're just gonna use this as our last card. That was a good swap. This thing is almost dead. Yeah, hit him. Hit that hand go in. I don't care. Volt energy. It doesn't give us damage, however. Let's use... Oh, we can't use a poison swamp. One. Attack opposite curve for three damage. Oh, wait. Is it not doing the weakness for some reason? He has block or something, doesn't he? Status immunity, block, heal. Um, I don't know why he's not taking damage. He must have had block and I didn't notice. So we're going to quick shock you. And then we're just going to use a blaze energy because it doesn't take a turn. And we're going to end the turn here. Does a computer have the chance to swap the positions as well? Because he really should be doing that. Otherwise it's like really easy to predict what's happening. I'm going to take the Bloom Heal because you actually need healing. Uh, quick Shot, Volt, Energy. How many Shock do you have? You don't have any. Let's use a, use a Quick Shock. Now, does that allow him to actually get Quick Shocked again and take damage from the current Shock that he has because we're using another skill? When, when does the Shock activate? Maybe it activates when the enemy uses a skill. I misunderstood it as like, we're going to activate the shock anytime we use a skill, but I think it's the other way around. The enemy has to use the, shot, uh, the, the skill for it to activate. Yes, it does. He's losing HP right now. Got it. Um, Nature Aqua attack. Let's do that. Do we need a quick shock? No, I'm going to use a bloom heal. Our blaze guy is not doing anything. Let's do another quick shock over here. I guess he dodged the attack. Right? Status immunity, I see. Status immunity will prevent you from gaining a negative effect once. Looks like he has some block. Raise a career defense for three turns. And never mind, he's just raising his defense. So we're gonna do an attack on you. You're dead. Ooh, he had a dodge. Let's do it again. And then we're gonna use a poison spot just to be fun. Just because we can. Choose the energy to pay for this card. We need one of the grass energy, and then we're gonna use one of the lightning because we're over encumbered with that. So we have the, all of our cards used. We have the poison field happening. Is it actually happening? Every turn opposite spot inflicts two poison. When do we actually apply the poison though? Do it again. I'm not seeing it happen. Maybe it happens at the end of our turn or something. I'm gonna end the turn, although we have more things to do just to see how it works. Yes, it, it activates at the end of the turn. Got it. All right, well, heal up, why not? Let's uh, do some swapping so that we could possibly get another attack for our, our green guy. We did, and it's a victory, plus eight coins, amazing. Da -na 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 -na. Great music. Well done, you did it. The basics of playing through a challenge. When you're ready for the real thing, just let us know. There's all sorts of battle decks you can make depending on how you combine critter skill and sticker cards, so make sure you try all kinds of strategies. I look forward to seeing you for a proper nature challenge. See you later. Dude. Cool. Um, we might F around with a challenge run, see how far we can get real quick. Challenge run. Oops. As you haven't played before, I strongly recommend that you learn how 
Critters TCG has played with the tutorial. I know how to play. You just saw me do it, bro. Dina, Dottie, no one is available except for Dina. Each card you offer to swap has plus one swap value. Oh, that's amazing. Complete a standard challenge to play at in the following modes, which is Nuzlocke, a, another Pokemon related term. Uh, what does it do exactly? Start with more lives. When any of your critters is defeated, you lose them, right? Nuzlocke is like permadeath. This also applies to wild critter battles. Only three critters can be attained in each act. Randomizer. Any critter can use any skill card. Skill cards that you will use any type of energy. Starting critters and battle deck are randomized. A trainer's critters and the skill cards are also randomized. Interesting. They're not available in the demo, but we're going to do whatever we can that's available in the demo right now. Select your starter. Wallblaze is pretty cool. So here's Aguado. Um, every turn, your critters heal 1 HP. Interesting. Opposite critter gains 1 burn every single attack. I'm going to take Wallblaze again. It just matches our character. Uh, binder cards, wall blaze, all that kind of stuff. We've seen all these before. Battle deck. Looks good. Perfect. Let's go. Choose again. Is it also an option if you hate it? Look at your goggles. Cassie, grab your sunblock. We're off to the aqua beach. That sounds amazing. How confident are you? I'm not sure you'll beat me. I love the pun. Let's fight. Okay. So let's check out our battle deck just to see if we have any stickers real quick. Last time we had a teleport one, which was really nice, but we have nothing here. So we're going to get Kindle can lecture, Kindle lecture, battle then swap, battle then swap. I'd rather just gain a critter than start swapping right now. Although I do have a lot of swapping power. Sorry. I'm just going to take a look. Yeah, we do have a lot of cards that we can swap for, and we're going to have more options, I guess, if we battle somebody. Let's battle the fox. He's called the fighter, and he has a nice outfit on that tells us he's ready to do some kung fu. So he's doing critical spot. This spot gains one critical, which is going to deal more damage to us, then reduces by one after. He'll do a blaze terror attack to us. We are not weak against each other or anything. Put that energy card on. Gain two blaze energy, opposite critter gains burn. Um, I could do a flame tackle just to go super aggro. Flash burn, flame tackle. Because this guy gets stronger as we keep him up there because he has critical spots. So I think I'm just gonna do as much damage as we possibly can right now. We don't have enough for a another flame tackle, so we're gonna end the turn. Critical spot, it didn't activate right away which I thought it would, but that's okay. What does Taunt do? All enemy critters attack this critter. Oh, I see. Maybe the critical did activate. I thought that was critical. Um, Blaze Energy. We're going to hit you with a Flame Tackle. And we win. Thank the Lord. I was scared for the next turn, but we did it. Let's swap cards, baby. So we have a Markork, which is a rock grass. Interesting. Parpalopalon. Bomb. All enemy critters take four true damage. Uh, sign me up for that, please. Burn up. Gain two power for three turns. All enemy critters gain defense plus one burn. Oh, your defense plus one. Can I see my deck? Yes, I can. Some some games have a real issue with not allowing you to see your inventory slash deck slash whatever while you're doing other things in the game and i always hate that i have a real big pet peeve with that but thank god they let us do it 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 would be horrible if they didn't we have zero defense on wall blaze so he doesn't work well with the burn up because he has no defense so it only it would only apply one burn um yeah, I don't know if it's worth the cost for us, that particular card. Attack opposite critter for power plus six damage. Opposite critter gains defense plus one shock. Interesting. It sounds really good. I'm going to take it just in case we do pick up a, um, a lightning type. Sticker is two passive effect. Your Chris heal, heal one HP more. We don't have any healing effects, but that does sound pretty good. Um, I'm going to take the rock grass dude and we're, we're going to F around with that. We only have three out of five cards. I don't think I want to increase the cost of all of our stuff or our trade 
with things that we don't need. So let's start the swap. I think this is a smart thing to do anyways. So it seems like what we, a type that we're not going with is possibly water. So these are worth more than usual, right? Is that worth two? Oh, Dina. Dina, good job. Everything is worth an extra point and this is amazing. Let's swap. Thank you for swapping. Battle deck, let's go. Can I just look at my new cards? <laughs> I would love to just look at my new cards. So we're gonna put the Markork in here and we would like to use anything with green or brown. Attack opposite critter for damage. Let me see what brown things we have for ya. Um, right, so we have Blaze Terra attack. Let's add another one in there just for good measure. Gain two air Terra energy and gain two taunt, which makes all enemy critters attack you. Right, that is good. We do bring it on. And then we're gonna take a look at that healing thing. I thought we had a healing thing. Oh crap, is it only, sorry, <laughs> is it only water? No, it's water and green, which means Markork can use it. And if we're gonna taunt, we should have Bloom heals in here so that we can heal the Markork. Um, that will just allow us to keep him healthy if he's taunting way too much. Let's find another card for him. Uh, let's look at these. We already have the taunt. We already have Blaze Terror attack. Let's look at green now. Gain two. That's Bloom Heal, right? Um, I'll take another Bloom Heal, I guess. Uh, let's look at stickers. Didn't I pick up a sticker? What in the hell? Dude, didn't I trade for a sticker? I got the bomb sticker, right? Where the hell are my stickers? Oh, here's the stickers. Here's the bomb. We got the bomb in here. Oh wait, bomb is a, a card. All enemy critters take four true damage. The the color of it made me think that it was a um, a sticker. That's actually not that good. <laughs> I think there's better cards for us to use. I'm just gonna keep the deck light and use the cards that we have. Let's get the hell out of here. So we have two dragons. He is water and fire. Uh, what is my deck good against? It is good against... So we're good against nature. I don't know what what brown slash green is really good at. Not good against water. I'm gonna fight this. It's the same types as me. Hopefully we can just outdo them. I don't know. Another fighter is here. Let's go, Dina. Okay, so they only have one person. He's weak against water and he's good against psychic. Easy enough. So bring it on get some taunts going blaze energy terra attack terra attack and the turn he's gonna meditate oh he hits everybody attack opposite critter and then also gain two terra energy and you're gonna do some critical interesting so he is not that hurt i am quite hurt over here as wall blaze i don't need to do that Flame Tackle will like kind of kill this guy. Do I have enough energy? Yes, I do. Barely enough energy. All right, Flash Burn or Flame Tackle again. Let's try to swap and find the normal tackle. Here it is. Done. I am the Pokemon Master. Let's be real. I'm too good. Swap some cards. Market, whoa, what? Oh, it's pixel art. I thought it was blurred for a second, but this one has pixel art. Interesting. Battle start, gain three power for three turns. I guess in between battles, I could like just adjust all of my creatures and all my cards. Chlorophyll. Every turn, heal two HP. He is lightning and he is also grass. Interesting. Bomb we don't want. Sapping heat. Opposite critter loses two power for three turns. Opposite critter gains your defense as burn. Again, we don't have a lot of defense on our fire dude. Wait a minute. I thought this was a creature, my bad. Uh, we already took a shocking strike, right? Hold on, let him cook. Yeah, we already have one, so I don't want to do anything with that. Rock wart, 
your critters gain two defense for three turns. That is a way to implement defense onto our fire critter, but it takes a lot of setup. That's a lot of energy. Uh, Terra, Blaze, Smash, all attack opposite critter for power plus five damage. Both of our critters can use this right now, so that's a really good item. Joke Buzzer. Um, every three turns, your Volt critters inflict one stun to the opposite critter. Your Volt critters, which we don't have, will do Volt. You know what? Do we Volt it up then? Let's Volt it up. We did pick up a Volt card before. Let's... It's a swap value of 8. F. Even for me, that's pretty crazy. We're just going to give you a bunch of one star things, but you're going to take them at double value because I'm Dina. Um, hmm. Let him cook. I guess we can give up a couple of these because we have so many. And then anything else, we are using a lot of these already. We probably don't need another one. And let's take away placebo because we're not using these cards. Actually, no, put you back. We have a lot of these cards, so we're just gonna swap for that. Sweet. So we're gonna do a battle deck. We're gonna throw in our Chloro Pharrell. He's in there. And then we're gonna switch over to... So he's using green cards. We already have a couple of Bloom Heals in here. We'll throw a couple Lightning cards in here as well. So our Shocking Strike we will use. It requires Lightning Energy. So let's make sure that we have something to generate some of that lightning energy. Joke Buzzer we're going to use as well because it's our only sticker and we just picked up a lightning creature so that we can use it. Shocking Strike times three. I hope that's okay. Two more skills required. Let's go into green because green and yellow is now a interaction that we can use together. Bloom Hill could be okay. One of each. Skill card recall. Oh, I don't have any more of those. F. All right, we go like this. Looks good to me. All right, let's uh, leave the card. I don't want your critter. I'm not. I don't want your critter. I'd rather have a swap. We have to make sure our fire guy is not in front of the water. And I'm not sure if the chlorophyll is weak against psychic. It's not. Oh, he just has one critter that is one particular type. I think I'm gonna leave it up to. I think I'm gonna leave it up to Markork to fight this guy. Okay, taunt him up. Boom. You're doing some attacks here. Good. Um, let's do some replacements because we're not trying to use any of that. Bloom Heal we can use to at least gain energy. Alright, gain the energy. Uh, you can't use anything else. You really can't. Let's just end the turn then. So he's healing every turn. Ooh, that hurts. And he moved at the end. So you can attack, then move. I didn't even think about that. Um, I'm working a different way, and we're going to move. Oh, wait. Could he kill me, possibly? <laughs> he could possibly kill me. Use the energy just to get the energy. Okay, BRB, let him cook. I need some healing. Is he gonna hit, kill me? He's only gaining spectral enemy and he energy and he's doing immunity. Um, yeah, he, he's just doing two of these. So let's do a attack. And I guess the only other thing that I can do is also this attack. All right, end turn. He's gonna go ahead and do two of those. So he has a lot of... Does he lose his status immunity after the turn? That was kind of weird. Uh, I don't see it happening. Either way, we are going to do... Oh, this guy's power is only two? So Flame Tackle is really good for Markork because it does power damage to your own guy, but it does power plus nine to the enemy. So let's go ahead and use... Oh, it's only fire. It's only fire. Well, that's kind of fine. Let's just swap. And then we're gonna do a blaze tackle and he should be dead. Oh, nice quality of life thing that I just realized. While it's sitting in your hand, the description is the normal description. As you drag it to someone that can use it, it gives you the actual numbers. 
didn't realize that was happening. <laughs> Excuse me. But uh, yeah, it, it does do it that way. Manually choose energy, can be changed in options. Auto picked energy is taken from left to right. I kind of like picking the energy. Oops. So I'm just gonna do that. We win. Da, 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 da. I like my team composition right now, but I'm willing to take a new critter if it pre presents itself. Now this guy would give us more firepower with the fire element, no pun intended. I might take him just in case we find like a super good battle to jump in with just like lightning or sorry fire type and then he also can like switch to lightning if he really wants to. Rainbow energy seems really good. Attack all enemy critters for damage. All enemy critters gain defense as a burn. Solol could use that pretty good. Plaster pack is healing HP. Interesting. Attack opposite critter for power plus five damage. Honestly, we always have an excess of energy, so I want to take it. Um, I'll take the wildfire too. It works really well with Solol here, the guy that we're about to take. Six trade value. Okay, let's go. Without our bonus for trade value, I would be really stressed. <laughs> take a flash burn. Yes. Actually, flash burn would give us a lot of fire energy if we really needed it. We should be using um, some of those. Take one of these from me and then just one more. Take one of these placebos, please. Let's swap. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, let's leave this card. Shop, stock up on all sorts of cards. Battle, then swap when you ruin. Or we can get this fossil. And erosion, very cool. Uh, I'm gonna go to the shop. What do you got, shop? Whoa, look at this guy. Clawbore, let me see that clawbore. I just wanna show you guys the art and everything. Pin leaf, print leaf, sorry. Very cool. Miasical barrage is here. Uh, I think we have a barrage already, right? Chain lightning. If the opposite critter has shock, attack all enemies for power plus two damage. Wow. That's pretty good. Golden bone is a sticker. Gain three more money when winning battles. <laughs> the greed in me instantly wanted that. Every three turns, all critters lose one power for three turns. Um, nah. Anything else? Anything else? No? Signature machine, what the hell is this? Oh. So you can buy the critter's signature skill at this machine. Your critters heal defense plus one HP. That's interesting. Uh, we've seen the flame tackle. Kaboom, opposite critter gains five burn. Interesting. Overgrowth as a shiny, why is it shiny? Attack all enemy critters for power plus six damage. He doesn't have a lot of power, but we could use it with another critter. All enemy critters lose two defense for three turns. It's $6. I only have $7 left. I'm gonna leave the shop. I think I'm okay. Oh crap. I should have looked at the binder again. We can still go in, right? We still can go in, okay. But yeah, he only has one page. Um, let's leave it behind. Let's see what n our next battle will be. Wild battle, gain a critter skill in their skill card when you win. He is weak against water. This guy's weak against, er, uh, what's it called? The grass type, so maybe I'll do that. Sammy swaps, you got cards he wants. We haven't seen this event, so maybe we just check it out. What do you want? I see you have cards in your binder that aren't in your battle deck. You want to swap for these cards? Okay, so which one are mine? No, I want to use some of those. Hold on. <laughs> Will you swap with me even still after I use the things that are here? Show me my stickers, please. So we want the golden bone. Buzzer's in there. Okay, save and quit. Let's see if he changes his offer. He wants the bomb. And I have burn up and also binding blinding speed. Gain two volt energy and gain one dodge. Interesting. Gain two power for three turns. All enemy critters gain burn. Right. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a fine swap, honestly. He'll keep swapping. 
Interesting. I'm gonna go with that swap. I I just want to kind of fight now. All right, you know what? Let me open up another booster. <laughs> the greed. The greed. Critter cards. Nature pack. Versus boosty pack. So the boosty pack is random selection. Enter. Enter. Enter attack pack. A pack with basic energy and attack cards of all types with some rare energy cards. I, I'm kind of interested in that. Nature, I mean, we do have a lot of nature going on too. <laughs> all right, nature costs the most money, but maybe it's just so specific, that's why. I'm gonna take a gamble because this says it has some, nah, I'm turning back on that. I have exactly $7, let's buy a nature pack. Zip, 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 give me that nature pack, let's go. Oh, I'm excited. We have Nature Aqua Attack. That's normal. Poison Sap. Gain two Nature Energy. Opposite Critter gains po Poison. Sure. Emergency Aid. Lowest Ally. Heals Defense plus six HP. Oh, that's pretty good. And then we have Heat Rash, which is our shiny over here. Attack Opposite Critter for power plus five. Opposite critter gains defense burn we could definitely use that because we have a lot of fire going on and we have yeah this this overall is just a really good card for us lowest hp ally um healing hp is also a pretty good card so i'm gonna throw that in oops wrong thing so we're gonna could i do the right thing for a sec um lowest ally heals so that is in and then we also wanted the fire card, Heat Rash over here. Um, can I see my fire critters for a sec? So he has half, Solo has half the amount of attack, but he has defense, which works well with this thing that we just picked up, the Heat Rash. Um, it's still a pretty good card as long as we have some nature energy. I'm gonna take out a blaze terra attack i think i'm gonna leave it at that let's go leave this card challenge hand seven out of eight we could just go boosters all day but i would rather fight rival battle tougher fight but better swaps oh he is water so you know what that screams out to us right water is weak against oops lightning i assume i have no water creatures I assume that they're weak against the, um, wait, they might be weak against grass. Oh God, I can't remember now. I have no critters to look at. I have no critters to look at. Maybe I'm okay with my deck right now. Let's fight him. Hey rival, nice hat. Okay, so they are weak against grass, perfect. So we're gonna do a swap with Chlor... Who's doing more damage? This guy's not doing anything. He's playing all three cards to Markork over here. So I'm gonna let you survive over here. Markork can do... Use this just in case we need it. Um... Let him cook. Let him cook. Gain two energy. Let's get the grass energy up. Attack the opposite critter. I'm gonna let Markork attack for two damage, plus five. And then we're gonna do a trade. Quick Shock is not needed. Well, actually we could use it. Uh, yeah, Flash Burn is definitely not needed. So let's do this. We have a wide variety of different energies now. Let's end the turn. What is this water thing? I am not doing a good job of reading what the enemy is about to do. When attacked, all allies take damage equal to soak stacks, then it is removed. Oh, soak is AoE. That's not good. Water shield, and he's also doing an attack, and then you're doing gain two energy, most ally heals two. Interesting. Heat rash. We don't need the heat rash, unfortunately. Bloom heal, who's hurt? No one is hurt. Let me do a bring it on then. And then we're going to trade heat rash for an attack uh yeah sure let's go with your chlorophyll chlorophyll does more damage maybe we'll let chlorophyll do more of the attacks for now can we swap please ah it didn't give me what i wanted 
More taunt, I guess. Where's my taunt amount? All enemy critters attack this critter. I wonder if it goes down per attack or something. I don't know how taunt goes down. Or is it per turn? I don't know. It seems like it's per turn. It's per turn. Perfect. So we have emergency aid. Uh, we do have enough. Uh, we're going to overheal if we use it now, but it's available, so let's just do it. Use a... Actually, use one of these rock things. We're good. Let's see what we get by trading. We're going to do a bloom heal. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. He's fully healed, but the bar is not at the correct position. I'm just going to heal you. Is that the correct position? It should be full 100 out of 100, right? I wonder if that's a weird error. I don't know. Attack opposite critter. Critter gains shock as well. Let's go. We have no grass cards, so we're just going to use all of these lightning cards. Oh, we're out of card uses. Oh my goodness. Markork, no. We need him to heal. We're healing. We got a bunch of rock energy. We really don't need it. <laughs> Attack the opposite critter for power damage. Let's go. Ooh, he's almost going to die. Four plus five, nine. He should be dead, right? Oh. Oh, he has defense. He has defense up. That's my bad. Um, end the turn. Mark Hork, please don't die. I don't think he will. He's only taken one attack. Got it. And then we have nothing that we really want. Uh, I'm not sure if we need another bring it on. We really just want to attack. I guess Heat Rash will allow us to attack, but we don't have the right amount of energy. This will kill you. Um, I'm going to swap. Do a quick swap. Heat Rash, we don't have the right energy for. I forgot to add more fire energy to our deck. Uh, Bloom Heal is fine. I'm going to use it on use just because you're taking the most damage right now. And then we're going to do another quick shock on Glacerunt over here. End the turn. Healing Drink. He's hitting our Mark Hork yet again. Okay, so we're ready for some of this. Just pick up that energy. Now, let's do a heal. It's going to target you. Let's use a rock energy. Good to go. Uh, he's not taunting anymore, so maybe I can do our attacks and then swap them so that he gets hurt instead of our chlorophyll. Uh, let me think, let me think. We're going to do this because he's weak against it. Yes, he is. He has some defense going on. He's very defensive. Switch around the Mark Hork so he gets attacked. He's just splashing us a bunch. Okay, got it. Um, let me let me cook. Defense burn on the guy. We might have, whoop. What do you mean? Why can't we use it? How come I can't use this? Oh, the grass, we don't have grass. Now we do. Uh, I should have healed Mark Hork, but that's okay. Heat Rash on him. He's weak. He's getting some burn. We have to swap some of these cards because they're useless for us. Maybe I'll do a Bring It On again. Let's do a Bring It On again. End the turn. He's healing. He's hitting our Mark Hork. This rival is so screwed. Uh, let me see. Blaze Energy is gonna allow us to have that energy. I actually kind of wish that it, it refilled from the other side because now if I gain any other energy, our fire energy will just disappear. But I want it to stay in there because it gives us, um, you know, more variety. Attack opposite critter. Opposite critter gains defense as shock. Let me swap you so that we can actually use this. Emergency aid we could use as well. Are we going to kill him though? 4 HP. Yeah, I guess we're, we need some emergency aid. Oh, it's going to Wall Blaze. Never mind. Wall Blaze does not need to get healed, so we're just going to go like this. And the turn. He might kill one of my creatures through the splash. Oh! He died from a DOT. Either Burn, Shock, I can't remember which one would have killed him. Let's swap the cards, baby. Whoa, there's a lot more cards here. Slum Bill. Very cool. Are there any super rare cards? Oh, there are! There's star cards. We're three. 
Um, okay, let's take a look. Palm Bust. This looks like a Growlithe to me. Critter move. All enemy critters gain one burn. If he, if he moves, everything burns. Star Right is every three turns, opposite critters gain one taunt. So all of your critters will attack one single target. That's very interesting. Blaze Energy. Don't use a card to play. You gain one Blaze Energy. We might take that. Gain one energy of the user's primary type, and you also gain a spectral energy. Love it. That's swap value is six. Hold on. What? <laughs> swap value of a star card is six. Holy crap. Gain two nature energy. Opposite critter gains two. Okay, since this is spectral energy, I actually don't think it's a good pick for us. Um, okay, nature energy. Opposite critter gains two poison. Heat rash we've seen. Power spot we've seen. Kaboom we've seen. Water shield. The critters gain one defense for three turns. You got it. Psychic fist. All enemy critters attack all enemy critters for defense plus two damage. All enemy critters lose one defense for three turns. Interesting. It has a pretty high cost, but like um, we haven't really been using our earth energy the right way. How much defense do you have? You only have two. Okay, save and quit. I might still take the Psychic Fist. We'll see. Taunt, we, are, we already have a lot of taunt. Plug, sticker, one SP, Battlestar every five turns. All critters gain two shock. Maybe good. Wacky Snake, it is all enemy critters take two damage every three turns. Sure. Solar Panel, every three turns, your nature critters gain heal five HP. Interesting, we have two nature in here right now um i'll take it oh wait the trade value is unbelievable with that solar panel uh i'm not taking the solar panel okay so let's trade for five um i need to fight more battles where i'm not losing cards and i'm just like net gaining a bunch of cards we are kind of at a deficit for how many cards that we have you know so I, I, you kind of have to balance getting cards that you actually need versus just getting, um, you know, unwanted cards so that you can trade. So there, there's a balance there. Bring it on. I don't think we need any more placebo. This attack, maybe we don't need as much. Oh, wait, we don't need to trade that much. Let's just trade these three. Swapped. So what did I pick up again? <laughs> I wish I could, I wish there was like a window to let you just take a look at your deck, like on the side here, and just show you all our new cards. Is this all new cards? No, it's not. This is, um, this is stickers. Got it. So we want to put in that sticker. We also picked up this one. But yeah, if it, if it, if it just let us have a small time frame that we could click out of to just say like you picked up these cards do you want to add any of these cards to your deck right now and then it would just let you adjust things where like the new cards are displayed in the middle in a little window and then this stuff at the side stays kind of thing um not that the critters would stay on the side and then this thing stays on the side and then you can just swap out cards that way because now i totally forget what we've picked up to be completely honest with you um I'm just going to go through our cards. Wildfire. We do need something that generates more blaze energy. So I'm going to take out a flame tackle probably. Oh wait, we have a flash burn in here. Is there anything else besides flash burn? We're going to take it. Uh, what happened? I guess I didn't add it. Okay, whatever. So not that. Joke buzzer, shocking strike, blinding speed. What did we pick up? Psychic Fist is one that I remember picking up. What do we want to lose for that? Maybe we lose a quick shock because we're not using too many of those. Psychic Fist is going in. And I don't remember, oh, the rainbow energy. We forgot to put in. We put that in instead of a blaze energy. All right, save and quit. Get out of here. 
Let's leave this card. I think we're on the last hand, right? And it has to be the boss battle. Here's Cassie, the person we sat down at the bench with. I didn't look at the, the card types. It's all water, so that's good. This guy's actually weak against lightning, and so is this guy. Very cool. Wall Blaze has really no place here. Oh god, I want to put Wall Blaze in a safe spot. Although this guy's not attacking, so Wall Blaze can actually stay. Okay, let's start cooking. Um, bring it on will actually let us keep Wall Blaze very, very safe. We don't need an emergency heal. Attack opposite critter. We do need some lightning to do that. So take away the emergency aid because we don't need it. We could possibly use this. Flash burn I might not use. Okay, we didn't get what we wanted. That's unfortunate. So let's do... None of these guys are weak against who we're facing. Let me do a nature aqua attack. Does he still get weakened because I'm half electric? Oh, it is! Now, why are you healing 2 HP every time? Your other, your other critters heal 2 HP whenever it's hit. Oh, I see. So we kind of want to kill him last. Or first. We either kill him first or last. Can't use you. Another bring it on. So much time. Hopefully I can get through this boss battle. Oh man, Markork is going to take a lot of hits. For sure we want to heal him whenever we can. Power plus 5, defense as burn. Got it. I'm actually going to kill the healer first so that any healing right now doesn't do anything to anybody. So we need some energy to use the heat rash, unfortunately. Attack enemy critters for defense plus 2 damage. All critters lose one defense for three turns. Okay, that might be good. We have enough energy for it. Quick Shock is here as well. First of all, Bloom Heal. Second of all, all we can do is Psychic Fist. And then we do a Quick Shock that's empowered because everyone's lost some defense. What the frick? Did I use the wrong thing? I thought it was an attack. I must have screwed up somewhere. You're attacking. You're also attacking. I'm gonna move Wall Blaze out of the way. Never mind, this guy's taunting, so it doesn't matter. Let's end the turn. Actually, I can swap cards to try to draw out that energy. Here's the rainbow energy. Uh, we've been lacking the, the fire energy. Oh, it's just rainbow. It's just rainbow. Perfect. I thought it would give us the energy type of whoever we play it on and I was gonna take out a fire energy for that but uh, it works even better as just a colorless at the top of the thing. Attack the opposite critter for power plus 9 damage. User loses some HP. Hmm. Yeah we really don't need that yet. We need to kill this guy first. Quick shock. What else do we got going on? Burn up. Gain 2 power. For three turns, all enemy critters gain defense as burn. Why do I have that in here? I thought burn up gave us energy, that's my bad. Um, so we're really just shocking this Barula. If they never have him doing any skills, then he could survive forever. Let me cook for a second. Rainbow energy yet again, cool. We gotta use energy before we get more, because otherwise we're gonna replace some of this energy. Um, I do wanna heal, we're losing some of our colorless. Oh, does it keep pushing? I guess it keeps pushing that way. It's funny, it fills up from left to right, but then once you're full, it pushes it from right to left, which is actually better, in my opinion, because then you get to keep all the things that you're um, most, f most recently adding to your energy count and then anything that you're not using is getting pushed out so that's that's actually a good thing okay gain two blaze energy opposite critter gains some burn that doesn't really help us do a quick shock we can't trade anymore i might actually swap you guys just for now just so that i can do something to the the opposite dude gain two power for three turns all 
enemies gain burn, but we have no defense on him, so we're actually just gonna go like that. Enter. So we're getting splashed. Oh, he swapped around too. He didn't swap around this guy though, and he is actually using a skill on that particular guy. We're gonna swap back. We will use Bring It On just so that we can replenish that taunt. Um, Shocking Strike is good because it does a whole bunch of stuff to Barula over here in the corner. Um, yeah, I should actually show you. So sorry that I didn't show you before. Barula over here is the guy healing everyone every time we hit him. He's in the corner there. He's our main focus right now. Psychic, Psychic Fist will allow us to hit everybody and bring down their HP. Actually, cancel that. Emergency aid is needed. Oh crap, we don't have enough energy. I really want to use that. Let's use some swaps then. Um, get rid of Heat Rash. Maybe the Bring It On is not needed. Oh, I need two to use Emergency Heal Aid. Uh, I need two actions, but I don't have it. Let's just heal him like this then. And it's giving us rock energy. <laughs> That's my bad. Our color list is about to disappear, which is so stupid. So this guy's almost dead. Barula's at 21 HP. Um, we need to heal you for sure. Can I use any of this energy right now? Flame Tackle does something, but that doesn't really matter for us. Alright, screw it. We're getting rid of the color list. That's so stupid of me, but I have nothing else to do. Do that. Quick Shock as well. Barula will almost be gone. Trust me, trust me, trust me. We're gonna make it through. Rainbow Energy, I'm gonna save. Emergency Aid. So yeah, let's use this Rainbow Energy. And then we can use the Emergency Aid. What? Now, why doesn't the color list allow me to use it as a... As a grass? I guess I don't understand Pokemon TCG enough, or maybe it's a rule for this game. But I thought color list could count as any color, but it can't allow us to use it as a green. It can replace any other color, I guess. But, um... That's strange. Color list doesn't... That makes color list kind of useless, doesn't it? That's weird. I'll put some green in here so that we can do some emergency aid. <laughs> like, I can use the color list for colorless, or I can use anything for that, that option. Colorless should really allow you to count it as anything. Shouldn't it? That is so weird. Okay, well, he's full HP now. We have one more attack, so we're just gonna shock him. I should have put more cards in here that are uh, lightning based that just do pure damage, but. What can you do? We did find the Shocking Strike, so we're just gonna do that. I think he's dead. He has three more HP. Let's do a Psychic Fist out there then. Uh, yeah, use the... Nope, not the Grass. That's rare for us. Almost killing the Barula. The Barula has a little bit more HP. Let's just go like this so that Barula is dead. And now we're fighting the rest of the Critters. Oh crap, we don't have the Taunt anymore. Gain. Aqua energy and then gains one soak on opposite end. Okay, he's not actually hitting wall blaze, so I think I'm just gonna keep him there. No one's actually hitting me. Why did you die? Oh, he swapped. He's weak against grass. That's cool. You're a across from a grass dude. Emergency aid is going to heal quite a bit. Let's just do it. Uh, yeah, use, use the colorless since it's useless. We're gonna give you bring it on just to keep everyone safe. And then we're just gonna start smacking you up. End the turn. This is gonna take a while, by the way, but I think we're gonna make it through. He's swapping places again. Well, Mark Hork is over here and he's also grass, but he's not as strong. We also do have way more lightning cards. So we're gonna do some lightning shock on you. Keep going. Do the rainbow energy, although it's useless. Heat Rash is here. Oh, I guess I could use Heat Rash as Chlorophyll. Oh, I don't have freaking Grass Energy again. Okay, just use this on him then. A lot of Shock on him is good because he is acting quite a few times this turn. 15 HP. They swapped him yet again. Um, 
I'm sorry, bro. You're not gonna escape my chlorophyll. We are gonna bring it on with Markork yet again. I don't think I'm gonna heal him this turn because hopefully he has enough. Actually, these are kind of terrible cards. We'll swap around some of these. Didn't get anything very good. Um, maybe we do a Bloom Heal then, and then we just do an attack on you. He's almost dead. He almost died from the shock, but he did not. So here we go. Emergency aid is probably needed. Yet we cannot use it. Burn up, we're gonna swap. We're gonna swap the flash burn as well. Bloom heal on chlorophyll so that we can have um, some of this healing available. Nature with this, that's good. He's healed up. I'm actually going to use this heat rash as it's available because we have the energy. Oh crap, why? No fire energy. I wonder if I had colorless, if at least we have like the first energy in here of grass, it would let me use colorless for the red. If it didn't let me do that, then for real, for real, colorless is like kind of useless. All right, let's just do that so we remove one of his dodges and we move on to the next turn. I'm really, really like shook about that colorless. Quite shook. Um, flame tackle does nothing. Actually, Flame Tackle will kill this guy. <laughs> Should we just do it? Oh, I have no fire. Right. Um, do a Shocking Strike on that guy. Definitely a good idea. We do a Bring It On. Emergency Aid for you. Take a rock outside of the thing. And then we're gonna swap so that we can try to find the Colorless Energy or something. Heat Rash is here. I'm gonna try to do a heat rash with one colorless or something. Okay, here's a colorless. Is there anything that costs two energy of a specific type? This is calling for a colorless, so that's not what I'm trying to test. Here, swap this around. We're gonna kill this guy right now with a bunch of shock. Good, end the turn. Oh, I thought he would die from the shock, but I guess he healed a bunch. All right, I want some blaze energy. I'm just gonna do this so that we get blaze energy. Oh god, we're gonna lose a lot of our energy. Uh, I'm gonna do this so that we can get some grass energy in here. Let's start using some of that grass to heal you. I'm, I'm elongating, oh wait. Uh, yeah, Ooh. I can't use any actions. I'm elongating this battle so that I can test out this colorless energy thing because I'm, I'm, I'm failing to understand how it's even useful. Use the energy card. Get this power of psychic fist out of here. Get this out of here. We didn't get what we wanted. Okay, so I'm gonna move this chlorophyll so that we could maybe remove one of their opponents. He's weak. End the turn. 21 splash? That would kill him, wouldn't it? Soak. When attacked, all allies take damage equal to soak sacks. I think because of all the taunt, that's why we have so much soak on the other, um, on the other critters that we have. Okay, so here we go. We have Heat Rash over here. We actually do have all of the energy required to use it so that's not really gonna test what I wanted to test if I can get rid of the fire energy then I can test if we can use colorless as a second thing uh, gain two terra energy that's good we're gonna try to kick out some of the energy here gain two volt energy perfect so can I just use it and gain the energy I did okay Here's a test. Heat Rash requires grass and fire. We only have grass in here. We do have a colorless. In theory, we should be able to use the grass energy and then the colorless to use it. I can't, I can't use it. What is the point of colorless then? Because you can 
For any card that requires a colorless energy, you can use any energy card at all. But then colorless, when do I use the colorless? When do I use the colorless? It's so useless. It's, it's absolutely useless. Okay, swap this over. Let's kill this guy. I don't think he's dead right here, but he will be soon. All right, he's dead from all the DOTs. Victory, 11 bucks. I'm so rattled about the colorless. Let's swap cards. Corey Dusty. Every three turns, your critters cure one debuff. Oh, cool. Sam Poise. Every attack, opposite critter gains two shock. That's interesting because he's only grass type. I would assume that he's both grass and water. Or sorry, grass and lightning, but he's not. Battle start every five turns. All enemy critters lose one power for three turns. Cool. Bomb is here. Nature's Gift. Critter and Nature Energy. This is really good for us. Critter and... Oh, sorry, Nature's Gift. All critters gain defense plus one poison. Your critters heal defense plus one HP. Interesting. Takes a lot of energy, but that's a really good card. Is this a star? No, it's only diamond. Power spot. We've seen Psych Up. Gain two blaze energy. Gain one power for three turns. That's pretty cool. Soak Shot. All opposite critters... Attack all opposite critters, sorry, attack opposite critter for five power plus five damage. Opposite critter gains defense soak. That's really cool. Um, yeah, soak is great for group battles for sure. I, I think that I would probably go main um, water now that I know how soak works. It seems really good. Gain two aqua energy, cure one debuff. Focus strike, gain one critical. Attack opposite critter for power plus two damage. Stink Bomb, battle start every five turns, all enemy critters gain two poison, that's pretty cool. Every turn, use critter, move one, use critter, move one more times. I would definitely pick up Teleporter again, I think it's really important to have that. Assault Vest, your Terra critters defense is increased by two and their max HP is increased by five. Holy crap, that's good. That's a really good sticker. Um, I'm going to exit the swap. This is this is going to be the end of our first look. It might be over anyways for the demo. Hey, are you ready to go to the nature park and take on my challenge? Oh, there's more. I should have done some trades then. Um, yeah, I, I'm not going to keep playing. I guess they did tell me that you have like three maps that you have to go through. And I, I honestly thought we wouldn't make it all the way to the end for the demo because of the limitations of the content for the demo. but. Here we are, there's even more to play. We will jump back into Isle of Swaps at some point, but that's our first look. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content here. I really enjoyed this game. Um, the interactions that you have with the swapping and then the interactions with the different critter types and how they work together as hybrids and all the cards that we've seen in terms of the skill cards so far. Um, I think there's a lot of depth here that is commendable. So I'm really, really impressed. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts on the game so far. Leave a comment on the video and the gameplay as well. I'm open to feedback. Please let me know how I can make better content for you guys to watch. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. That's the best way to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys. And that's what we got for today. And I'll see you guys later. See ya.